This morning, I got word that two persons, two Guyanese, were gone down in um, Suriname. Two Guyanese gone down. Let me let me tell quickly. Um, I said the gang war continues. The, the, the... Do you hear call? Do you hear call out awake? Giving directions to somebody on the phone we know. When you go outside, you get gone down. The killings and the attempted killings are related. We talk about the one on Christmas Eve day. We talk about Dreddy. We, um, we spoke about um, the attempt on Corlap. We spoke about the man who was killed only about, about a week or so ago, uh, Rasputin. The man who was riddled with bullets somewhere and he managed to, they said 12 shots he got and he managed to escape. And now this morning in Suriname, these two, my information, reliable information, is that all of these killings are related. And we hope that you are going to do your work. All these people die one way. Listen how they die. They are at a location. And someone call them on the phone to come and meet them outside. Paper shards, Dreddy, Lubat, Bamafield, 90, 90. Uh the death of Oswick, um, Brasilio, and German, uh, I think it's Jeremiah Smith. This occurred this morning in um, Suriname, according to the news coming out there. Um, these two men were lining, they say. You know who called 90? You know who the two people when 90 went and meet when he dead? Farmer Commissioner Henry Green and Raja Khan. This boy, um, Brasilio, uh, his brother, if you recall, on Christmas Eve day, he's the man who was killed when he returned um, suddenly from the interior or someplace. And his wife was reluctant to open the door um, because she had someone else there with her. She had another man. She had a lover there uh, with her. He attempted or he went in through some louver window you removed and the lover killed him. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Now, we, we spoke on this program, I have been saying repeatedly about all of these killings that we are hearing about, these drive-by shootings in Georgetown, um, in particular. This morning, I got word that two persons, two Guyanese, were gone down in um, Suriname. Two Guyanese gone down. Let me, let me tell quickly, um, I said the gang war continues. The, 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 you're talking about the death of Oswick um, Brasilio. And German, uh, I think it's Jeremiah Smith. This occurred this morning in um, Suriname. According to the news coming out there, um, these two men were lining, they say, and some two men on moped motorcycle pull up and riddle them with bullets. Others, I understand, were injured as well. But to quickly to give you this boy, um, Brasilio, uh, his brother, if you recall, on Christmas Eve day, he's the man who was killed when he returned um, suddenly from the interior or someplace and his wife was reluctant to open the door um, because she had someone else there with her. She had another man, she had a lover there uh, with her. He attempted or he went in through some louver window you removed and the lover killed him. So this deceased then is the brother of this one who died this morning. And I am saying to the people, Saying to the authorities, I'm saying to the Home Affairs Minister, National Security Advisor Jerry Gobaya, the extended squatter, and all of these people, Blanham, Major Crime Unit, Caesar, and all of these people. My information is that all of these killings are related. The killings and the attempted killings are related. We talk about the one on Christmas Eve Day. We talk about Dreddy. We, um, we spoke about um, the attempt on Corlap. We spoke about the man who was killed only about, about a week or so ago, uh, Rasputin, the man who was riddled with bullets somewhere and he managed to, they said 12 shots he got and he managed to escape. And now this morning in Suriname, these two, my information, reliable information, is that all of these killings are related. And we hope that you are going to do your work. The fact that these killings occurred in Suriname should not give you any comfort. Because if they are related, it means that it's only a matter of time before um, similar incidents, more similar incidents occur 
um, in Guyana. So I'm passing this information on to you and hope that you're going to take the necessary action um, to deal with it. Let me bring in Mr. Conway um, to make his comments on that, and then we're going to move on. CC, all of these killings, my brother, all of these killings. I, I, I said before, but perhaps people don't understand what I'm saying, is that some of these killings, these crimes committed, you hear the person was a drug man, you hear he was a deportee, you, you, you hear he was involved in criminal offenses. So it's a, it's a, it's a dog whistle to, to, to the investigators. Don't forget about it. Don't do anything. Don't do no proper meticulous investigation because it's a drug man, kill a drug man, a criminal, kill a criminal. Only if done, it is the death of a human being. Condolences to all the families affected and rising power to all those deceased from these senseless acts of violence taking people out before the time and now look the situation spill over all the way all the way to Suriname right so now you get to hear it in the newscast again another Guyanese involved in some type of crime in Suriname painting an even darker image an even paler image even more sinister image of the so-called Guyanese in our neighboring country. Country. So the streets are hot, and the streets are not just hot in GT. The streets are now hot in Suriname with this matter. Because guess what? There's a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood that's being spilled, and there's a lot of retribution. A lot of people are being hurt, and if this continues, more people are going to be hurt. Which means, guess what? The hurt is going to become even greater and continue more and more. We got to now ask ourselves, when do we see a close to this? Now, could this be one of the situations that is connected to an even sinister plot? Because we're going to hear an even sinister plot is behind this, you know. There's more to this situation, even though all of these things is just connected. All is connected. Yeah, we know this connected. But there's even more to it. There's even more to this matter because guess what? We thinking that it might just be persons that is in the street is involved. But guess what? Not just the persons that is perpetrating, allegedly perpetrating the crime is in the street. Guess what? The person who's apprehending them got to be in that same area as well. And sometimes, allegedly, these persons get compromised in the very matter that they are there to make sure that they're allegedly policing. So now we're going to get into an even deeper, an even deeper paradigm for this whole conversation. How dready there? How Lubat, my next brother dead? How Bama feel? How Bama feel any friend there? And how so many other people whose names I could keep calling how they're dead? Let me tell you how they're dead. How paper shards dead? How paper shards dead? Paper shards dead the same way how Lubat dead? How Bama feel dead? All these people die one way. Listen how they die. They are at a location. And someone call them on the phone. To come and meet them outside. Paper shots. Dready. Lubat. Bamafield. 90. 90. All these people die the same way. It clearly tells you that the orchestrator, the criminal mastermind behind these killings is the Guyana Police Force and senior members of the Guyana Police Force and the death squad who are using the Pegasus spy equipment. Those are the people responsible for killing these people. Paper shards here, Carl, out to, out to the club. Somebody you know. When you go outside, you get gone down. 
Do you hear call? Do you hear call out awake? Giving direction to somebody on the phone we know. When you go outside, you get gone down. But I'm a feel and your friend, they in the house, you get call on the phone to meet somebody out at Stone Avenue and 6th Street. When you go out there, they get gone down. 90. They're upon the East Bank by the line top, partying. And he get called. You know who called 90? You know who's the two people when 90 went to meet when he dead? Farmer Commissioner Henry Green and Roger Khan. Yeah, hear yeah, what I just said? When 90 was called and went to UG and he get gone down and dead, the two people at the scene of the crime who murdered him was Roger Khan and Farmer Commissioner Henry Green. By the way, how Henry Green died? Some so-called accident or something with the vehicle? Yeah, sure. Yeah, check the vehicle. Now what my brother, my next brother, Kelvin Blue, Lubat, you know how he died? He was in his bed. This is fucked up. There's more worse than all the rest. In his bed, lying down, sleeping with his family. And he get a call to come outside and jump in a car. They found him dead, body decomposing, execution style killing on su in the suicide area. I just said to you guys that the government is using Pegasus. Pegasus CSM7800 series spy equipment and they're spying on every single guy in these, especially those that the one dead. A natural way to stay ready, baby, because I'm ready for you, Mr. C. And it was revealed over the weekend that the Guyana government, led by the Attorney General, right, secretly, secretly they're saying, that's what they're saying, secretly moved this matter to the Caribbean Court of Justice.